welcome back to the channel. So Supercoach scores have just been finalized for the week and I am really stoked. Um, so overall, I got in the top 1% for the week with a score of 1,310. Um, and overall in the top 1% at season rank 1,582, which I'm super stoked with. It's only early days, but yeah, really, really happy. So we'll go through the team and see how I went. Actually made some changes to the team I posted last week. Um, I actually got Jaden Braley and Aiden Fenor Blake in my last video. Um, I reversed that trade. I really do want to have Jaden Braley over Jacob Little, but I saved 100k on that trade. And also I went with Lindsay Collins over Aiden Fenor Blake and saved 100k on that trade. And I'm actually happy about Lindsay Collins over Aiden for Nor Blake. I think that in the long run, Lindsay Collins is going to be phenomenal. If he can keep up these scores, he's going to be up there with the best front rowers at the moment. But Jacob Little, I'm not happy with, but I just did it to make cash and save cash. So we got Damian Cook, Jacob Little, Junior Paulo, Lindsay Collins, Spencer Linu, Toe Harris, Isaiah Yo, Mitchell Barnett. Um, Jordan Rickey had Cleary, Walker, Connor Watson, Charlie Stans, Fuzzatua, Laurie, New, and Tedesco at fullback as captain. So I don't know why I scored so well. I think because maybe a lot of people had Appy Coruscant and then he got injured before the, the game and they didn't tra couldn't trade him out. Or they had Madison who had a HIA. Um, they didn't have Cook. Maybe they don't have Tedesco as captain. Uh, I think my full front row both went really well. My second row, Harris and um, Barnett, went really well. I don't think a lot of people, let's see, Toe Harris, top 9% nine, 9 of teams, and Barnett, 9% of teams, Isaiah Yo, 9%, Junior Paulo, 13, Lindsay Collins, 4%, Damian Cook, 25%. What about Tedesco? 39%. All right. I'm surprised it's only 39%. Seeing Tedesco's got... He, he, he should be in 60% of teams. All right. So my trades this week, I'm going to make one. Now, the reason... My plan was to get Jai Arrow. I think Jai Arrow at the Rabbitohs um, is just a solid player. Okay. Hang on a second. He's just a solid player. Um... And in the coming weeks, the Rabbitohs have some really easy games. Like this week, they play the Roosters. But after that, they play the Bulldogs, the Broncos, the Tigers, the Titans. So, look, if I could get Jairo in my side this week with the money, I, I, really, I really would. But I've got a different plan in mind. And it wasn't my plan last week. I really wanted to get Jairo. Um, but when I looked at who the Rabbitohs are playing, and that is like the Bulldogs, the Broncos, the Tigers, Gold Coast, I've put my sights on someone else. So we're still going to trade out Curran, and we are going to get Ryan James as just a moneymaker, whereas Ryan James, so it doesn't cost much money to get him in. He's going to make some money over the next couple of weeks. For sure, he's going to go up in value. If he keeps this up, he's actually scoring better than Josh Papali. So, fantastic. At like 300k cheaper. And now, the next person, which I'm umming and ahhing about. People are going to be very divided about this. But I'm going to get rid of Charlie Sams. Sure, he's going to make money. But two weeks in a row of that is just not good enough. Now, the person I'm going to get in is a Rabbitoh, Alex Johnson. Now, with the Rabbitohs playing, like I said, next week, the Roosters, sure, he might have a bad game then. But then up against the Bulldogs, who kept scoreless against the Panthers. And I don't even, I think they went terrible the week before that, didn't they? So the Bulldogs, then the Broncos, then the Tigers. 
then the Gold Coast, then Canberra, Melbourne Sharks. So he's got a couple of weeks in a row where he really could score well. And I actually need some strike power in my centers and wingers. And at the same time, I can rotate him down if Tedesco gets injured. Um, so I'm covering some bases there. A little bit disappointed getting Ryan James in the side for now. But who knows, down the track, it might have might be a, it might be a really good move having him in. Because what I could do when Spencer Linu makes a bit of money, I could move James up there, use the cash to um, upgrade Ricky if Ricky's going no good. Just to... So I got a bit of wiggle room there. So those look like the trades, I'm pretty sure. I think that is who I'm going to go with. It wasn't who I was going to go with in the first place. I really wanted to get Jai Arrow. But then when I seen Alex Johnson was that price, and I think like people are going to say um, Charlie Staines is going to score points. Alex Johnson's the same. He's a try scoring machine. That left edge um, for the Rabbitohs, Cody Walker. Well, I've got Walker in the team already. Mitchell's, they're on fire. So hopefully they can, Alex Johnson can score some points and I don't think he's in many teams either. Eleven uh, percent, so that's actually more than I thought. Uh, so Alex Johnson is in. So that is my team. Now let's move this around a bit. So we're not going to have Lena. We're going to have uh, Angus Crichton. Oh, we'll sub Yo out. Put a reserve on him. So we got Little Yo, Ricky Watson still. I don't think there's any injuries to the side. Look, that just looks a lot better. Johnson, Charlie Staines coming up against Melbourne. Who knows? He might score. He might score three tries. But what's done is done. So we got Cook, Little, Paulo, Lindsay Collins, super happy with Crichton, Harris, Barnett, Yo, Ricky, Cleary, Walker, Johnson, Fuzzatua, New, Laurie, Tedesco, Watson. Like, I, the team is looking a lot better. All right, leave a comment down below what you thought about that trade, getting James in. James and Johnson in rather than getting um, Jai Arrow in at second row. My second row is pretty stacked already, so I don't really need to get um, anyone in there. But my, my backs, I was really lacking in the backs, especially if Jared Croker comes back into the Canberra side. And Bailey Simonson drops out because I think Sebastian Chris is actually playing a lot better. So Chris could get um, more game time when Crokey comes in and Simonson drops out, maybe. All right. Well, yeah, leave a comment down below what you think about my side. I'm super stoked with being in the top 1% for now. Um, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.